Good afternoon and welcome to the Division II Field Hockey Selection Show. I'm your host, Will Haskett. The path to winning a championship is a short one with one of the most exclusive brackets in all of college athletics. Just six teams have made the championship in pursuit of a national title. Two teams received buys directly to the semifinals on November the 29th in Pittsburgh at the D2 Fall Festival, while the remaining four teams will battle it out this Sunday to join them in Pittsburgh. The championship will be played on December the 1st. There are no automatic qualifiers for this championship, just the best three teams from two regions. So which teams secured their spots through the rankings and which of those teams get coveted first round buys? We answer those questions right now with you as we unveil the top overall seed and the recipient of our first buy. It belongs to Westchester. The two-time national champs haven't made the tournament since back in 2015, but return for the sixth time to make yet another title run. A strong defense this year will be the key to that run with the team ranking in the top two nationally in almost every defensive category. That includes goalie Marissa Elizardo, who is surrendering less than a goal per game all year. She was also named the PSAC Champion Scholar for this year. The senior has a 3.975 GPA as she nears the completion of her education degree. Westchester awaits the winner of a first round game on November the 25th being played at Shippensburg. The three time national champs went back to back last year, leaving no doubt in that 4 1 win over LIU post for the title. Jasmine Pentrantonio was one of four players to be named to the all tournament team last season. She leads the offense this year, ranking inside the top five in the country in goals and points. The Red Raiders also returned goalie Ali Mooney, who is top 10 in the country in goals against. Shippensburg entered this past weekend, leading the nation in goals and ranking third in scoring margin. The Red Raiders will host Merrimack back for the first time since 2015 in a deep postseason run already to the NE10 Tournament Championship yesterday has this team rolling into the NCAA Tournament. The Warriors are led by Mary McNeil, who is top on the team in both goals and assists. She was a first team NE10 selection, while teammate Delaney Ewell became the NE10 Conference Defensive Player of the Year and junior Katharina Oman earned NE10 Goalkeeper of the Year Award honors this season. All right, the other team heading straight to Pittsburgh with a first round bye is East Stroudsburg. Four straight tournament appearances for the 2015 National Champs. With the most shutouts of any team, the Warriors own the largest scoring margin in the country this season. East Stroudsburg has not won a tournament game, however, since that championship clincher three years ago. Bailey Quinn was all tournament last year and just earned first team PSAC honors. She's ended 23 goals over the past two seasons. For the first time, we say welcome to the tournament to Pace, a magical season spoiled a bit by a loss to Assumption in the NE10 quarterfinals. The Setters had won 14 straight prior to that loss, including wins over Merrimack, LIU, Post, and Stonehill. A 13-0 perfect regular season in conference was statement enough for this program to make the NCAA tournament for the first time. Grace Henderson, there you see, is a top goalie in the country in goals against average this season. Final team we revealed today await for St. Anselm. It's the third straight trip to the tournament for the Hawks and a run to the NET championship match helped boost the Hawks ranking and snatch the final spot in the bracket. Hannah Friend scored the lone goal of the game yesterday for the Hawks, her seventh of the season. St. Anselm has six players who have scored six or more goals this season. Julia Hand also made five saves in the loss. She's upped her season total now to 67 saves in 19 games this year. All right, there you have it. One final look at our bracket of six as we get set for the start of the postseason this coming weekend. Don't forget to check back here at NCA.com for all of the results and make sure you plan to be there for the semifinals and championship November 29th and December 1st at Arthur J. Rooney Athletic Field in Pittsburgh. It's all part of the D2 Fall Festival. If you can't be there, you can watch all the championship action right here on NCA.com. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. I'm Will Haskett. Congratulations and best of luck to all the student athletes competing in this year's championship. Six national championships equals the best in collegiate athletics. These trophies are not given. They must be earned. The 2018 NCAA Division II National Championships Festival, November 27th through December 1st in Pittsburgh. Visit NCAA.com slash D2 Festival and get your tickets today.